right, we're going to the tram stop. We did, uh, we did Pride yesterday, just waiting for YouTube to allow the video. But uh, today is the big parade where a bunch of extreme attention-seeking narcissists are waved at and cheered and celebrated by a bunch of virtue-signaling liberalists. And it's one giant over-socialized circle jerk of right on, right on, lovey. capacity to warn the people about about the fire but they turn off the alarm they turn off the water so that when the fire engines came they couldn't put the water out okay so uh, they're having a debate look at that debate table in favor of the vaccine c19 oh no don't touch the camera man don't touch the camera don't touch the camera don't touch it. No, please, I'm working. I'm working. No, dude, I'm working, man. Thank you. But I'm, I don't want any trouble with you guys, okay? I just want to work. I'll go get it. You blame me. Sorry? My sister. He's uh, going to get himself into some trouble. He's uh, in that extremely drunk, wanting to annoy everyone. <laughs> Oh well. Well, we can listen to the debate while we enjoy the crackies. Give it us for free, and now we've got all this damage, all this fallout, excess deaths. Yeah, because they give us something for free. It does not happen. Yeah, Andrew Bidgeon, he's an MP, a British MP, he tells it like it is. This drunk guy is going to get himself uh, in serious trouble. He's getting physical with people. He's touching people without consent. Everybody leaves. It's part of what they they're doing it deliberately, right? So he's there on his own. All he's talking to is the deputy speaker. Just him, the deputy speaker. No, well, he might escape without. Oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna get himself in trouble. Hello. Thank you so much. I'm absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. I love the ones where you've come to Burnley as well. Yeah, those are good. Thank you. And Paul Andrews, we're telling the truth in Parliament. They removed the whip so it's no longer part of the Conservative Party. That's what, that's what you get when you get... 
That's what you get when you go against the, the powers that be. When you talk about stuff that they don't want you to talk about. Hello. Hi guys, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll cancel you, they'll shut down your YouTube channel, they'll shut down your Facebook channel, your LinkedIn channel, if you talk against any of the rhetoric coming from the government. Any rhetoric, you can't say, oh, it's not a vaccine, you can't say it's injuring people, you can't tell no truth about it, you can't tell no truth. You can't mention the energy weapons that they use to start the Maori fires, you can't mention that uh -huh. here. But, you know... medical whatever procedure is safe and effective you can't say it's safe and effective after two minutes ten months right? ladies got a point it's only been three years ladies are uh, making a point about long-term testing of pharmaceuticals it is an experiment they're still giving it to people as an experiment and if it's an experiment why are they not coming back to people how are our drunkies doing there they are there's the drunkies in fact they're doing the contrary if you go to the doctor because you have injury they will Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Say you're watching the Charlie Veach channel. You pervert. No, that's not nice, dude. You don't say that to people. You're drunk. You should go home and not insult me anymore. I wouldn't. No, you don't want to touch that. You don't want to touch that. No, trust me. You don't want to touch it. Dude, you should go away. You're getting a bit too, uh, you should go away. There you go. Well, the public are noticing hailstones are coming down. Enjoy the hail, guys. A bit of hail. A bit of hail. That's it. Happy Pride. Enjoy the hail. There you go. Look. <laughs> Look at that! August! Hailstones! Look at them run! Look at that! All hail the hail, madam! Oh shit, look! All hail the hail! Oh, here we go, some contrarians. And also, I was with my mum. Hello, hello, hello. What's the chat here? What's the Stella Artois can chat? Hello. It is a re reassuringly expensive Stella Artois. At least he's not drinking Carling or Foster's or any of that shite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yes. It's not Daffid, is it? It's Daffid. You're right. Remember down the valleys in um, near um, um, Wrexham? No. You don't remember? We had that beautiful incident in the gents' toilets. Anyway, you you were wasted. I remember you. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Manchester, where the drains spew out spew out water. Okay, we're along Cross Street, and I believe there's been uh, someone run over, unfortunately. The Hyundai licensed taxi minicab, Hyundai Bayon, has hit a Deliveroo guy. But he's alive, he's breathing, he's sat up, so I feel no... Uh, or maybe he's just fallen off, actually. Poor guy. 
poor guy. Is he okay? Bad leg? Yeah. Did he fall off or was hit by a car? I blame the, it's the tram lines. Tram lines will take out. Remember like trying to like cycle around Amsterdam and the tram lines take you out? Well, hello, okay. Was it the tram line or you hit by a car? Or? No, 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 he just fell on his own. Just fell on his own? Is he Charles? It is Charles, hello. Hi Charles, how are you doing? Thank you, very well. So obviously you know my channel and video. Oh no, you used to be in um, work life, didn't you? I did used to be you in work life, it. yeah. yeah Lori is my girlfriend. Oh you wow, yeah, yeah, wow, small world. Small world. Small world, anyway, all the best to you. Look at that, I think he's gonna live, guys. I think he's gonna live. Okay. City Copter 1 reporting impossible traffic. It's a mixed, oh, that fire engine's not gonna make it, is he? It, watch with the heavy traffic. Pride and Man U. Oh, nice, thank you. Yeah, all good. So the fire engine, he's gonna try, but he's got no chance. No chance, what a mess. So uh, what we'll do, we'll keep it rolling. We'll keep it rolling. We're down by Garside Street, near the Crown Court. Uh, I shot a video yesterday. I'm just waiting for it to monetize. There was a bit of spicy talk by the, uh, by the Horn of Africa gentleman to the police, very spicy. And uh, now we have Clown World, where the fire engine cannot get anywhere. And not only that, his sat-nav, and there's another fire engine coming down there, his sat-nav, his satellite navigation, should have told him. If he were using Google Maps, it would not have sent him this way. Because it's, uh, as I said to the bus driver on the Purple Vantage bus, it's a, it's a mixture of uh, gay pride and Manchester United football. It's not looking good. These firemen, look at that. Imagine being in front of that and you're in the way of the, it's not that it's the driver's fault, but. What a ball sack. Oh, BMW boys doing the right thing, come on. Come on, Skodoid. What a mess, oh, what a mess. He's trying. He's trying. Anyway, cut. Ah, uh, mon dieu, I wanted a shot of the uh, les bateaux du uh, du la Seine, uh, la rivière, mais uh, il fait le les spinny, les total spinny. Et je ne vais pas aller dans le les photographies des bateaux passing under El Bridgeo. Non, ce n'est pas possible. C'est non à la wed. I don't think the video's over yet, guys. Unless it is, but I think I'm leaving central Manchester. Now, scroll over the timeline, see if there's more video. Just another heart attack, don't worry, guys. Can't help noticing viewers. Here we are in Altrincham. There's Altrincham Market in places where the conservatives control the local council you don't see aggressive beggars and uh, people making an awful mess of themselves on the street because they get moved on people say look you exist we're not discriminating against you but by moving you on we're just saying that you're brutalizing all the families and people just going about their day by what you're doing so fuck off Altrium. Altring Cham. Altring Cham. Altrin Cham. Cham Cham. Now, a free plug for Alibi with their little graphic design Robin. Make the most of freedom and of pleasure. Nothing ever lasts forever. Now, my dear fellow humans, that is good advice when you come to visit a church and it's abandoned. Okay. called two higher downs. You gotta love that. Higher downs. Makes sense.
All right, guys, I got one for you. I've got a good one on uh, Gro Groby Road. This one's for sale. Um, let's have a look. Um, uh -huh. You're like, yeah, I'll park it in some random residential area in Altrincham, they'll never find me, but the Manchester City Council vans, they go around with a number plate recognition. And if you've not paid your road tax, which I imagine for a little Toyota like this could be as cheap as 40 pounds, 50 pounds, you get, um, you get buggered. Wheel clamping and removing vehicles. Now, the truth is, you can saw through that. It'll take you a while. Um, and you can saw through that. It'll take you a while, probably 10, 15 minutes. Cheaper than the uh, release fee, isn't it? This one's called Dunham Cottage. Okay. To not repeat myself on the channel. Hello. Here, okay. A couple of years ago, these, uh, this group were doing the same thing. And a very nice Filipino Muslim woman put a headscarf on me and told me that I looked like a beautiful woman. And it was very, very, very comedic and very lighthearted. So I can't even, I can't even have a go at the headscarf people because um, they were really nice to me.